welcome to our crazy life Scotland. It's Fiona here and I thought I would pick up the camera. Oh, and Brooke. Yes, don't forget Brooke. <laughs> I thought I would pick up the camera. I wasn't expecting to today. However, it's turned into a bit of a strange day, hasn't it, Brooke? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, I woke up at half past four this morning hearing a beep, beep, and I thought, what is the noise? And I uh, went and investigated and discovered that the house phone was beeping because it was out of charge. It was then that I realised that we had no power in the house. So I thought, hmm, it must have been out of power for a wee while for the house phone to have gone out of charge. And I thought, okay, oh, come on soon. But Jack had read reports yesterday saying that um, a lot of places over the whole of Britain were having power cuts because of the weather and that it was affecting trains and tubes and traffic lights and everything like that. So I just assumed it was something like that and that it would sort itself soon. So I eventually managed to get back to sleep and woke up at eight o'clock and still no power. Now Jack's away to work. His work has got its own power source. They've got their own generator. So even if uh, where he works had still had a power cut, like the, the town that he works in had a power cut, he would still be able to work. So I thought, right, okay, it'll be fine. I'll just sit and I've, thankfully, I subscribed to YouTube, so I've got a lot of videos downloaded. So no TV, but I could still watch some videos on YouTube. So I was sitting watching them and playing my tablet, hoping that the electricity would come on soon. It's now half past 11 and we still have no power. <sighs> Which is a bummer, yes, Brooke, because her tablet has no charge at all. Mine's is down to 38%. My phone's at 30%. And Brooke's Nintendo Switch is at about, what did you say, 50 odd percent. So I thought, right, what we're going to do is we're going to get out of here. We're going to get in the car. That way we can charge our tablets and things. And it's thankfully dry. So Brooke can go and play at the park for a wee while. We'll take the dogs in the car with us because Will has never been left alone yet. And it's not too hot for them to be in the car. So that is the plan. But now, just now, I'm going to break my fast with my iced coffee. Thankfully, I had one in the fridge from last night because I didn't have my last one. I just wasn't hungry. So there was still a coffee in the fridge because obviously I can't boil the kettle. It's amazing the things that you think you can do and then you realise, ah, oh, that needs electricity. For example, I just went to get ice out of the, that bit, the crushy icy bit out the freezer and nothing happened and I was like, Fiona, it needs electricity. So I thankfully used my head and took the, the sort of ice maker bit from the top of the fridge out and took some ice cubes from there and put that in my coffee. It's just a nightmare. And not only that, wait till I show you this. These goodies have been sitting shouting at me that Jack got last night. So there's a chopped chip muffins, there's crisps, there's snowballs, there's caramel shortcake and I'm thinking, oh, and I was thinking to myself, well, I'm not going to be able to eat keto anyway, I can't cook anything, I'm as well just having it and I'm thinking, no Fiona, there's always a way. So, like I said, I had that iced coffee, but what I've done is I've filled it all with cream this time instead of, you know how I said I was cutting back on my cream, I filled it all up because I don't know what I'm going to be able to eat today. I was planning to have scrambled egg and smoked salmon trimmings for my breakfast again today. I had that yesterday and I was going to use the other half of the smoked salmon, but I can't cook the eggs. So I'm just going to take the smoked salmon trimmings with me and just snack on that. So that should at least keep me going for a while. And I'm hoping that by the time we come back in, we will have power again. Hopefully. What say you, Brooke? Hopefully. Hopefully, yes. Because at least in the car we can actually charge our stuff. That's right. So I think I'm going to take my iced coffee with us. I think we'll just go just now. What do you think? And get yeah. the dogs organised and just yeah. go. Do the puppies want to go in the car? <gasps> we'll get Clyde. Does Clyde want to go in the car? <gasps> Does he? Right, so we are in the car. <laughs> my iced coffee's there. Don't worry, folks. I'm not going to drive with it up there. I just need to find somewhere to put it. My phone is now charging, thankfully. My tablet is now charging, although the connection's a bit dodgy. I'll need to keep an eye on that. And the other gadgets will be charged later because we only have the two charging points just now. We've got Molly, we've got the other puppies, we've got Brooke. And we're going on a wee adventure, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. 
Now the other thing I meant to say earlier was of course I was meant to be washing my hair today. It is a greasy mess so I would not, don't really want to get out the car if I can help it. The plan was, there's actually, there's a zoo lab on at our local caravan park today and Abby stayed at her friends last night so I was kind of hoping that Abby, Abby would be home to look after the dogs and I could take Brooke to the zoo lab. However, with everything that's happened, I'm not going to get Abby to come home to a powerless house because that would drive her nuts because not only do we not have power, we don't have internet and no, where she's staying at her friends, it's only a couple of villages away but they have got power so she's quite happy there. I can't have a shower so I ain't taking Brooke anywhere in public. <laughs> I'll take her to the park and I'll sit in the car while she plays. Yeah. Right, well that was interesting. I've just brought Brooke to the park and as we passed the hotel right next door to us had lights on and I thought well they've probably got a backup generator anyway and then when we got further along into our village the wee shop that there's we've got one shop in our village and it was open and had a light on so I don't know if they've got a generator as well or I'm starting to worry that it's maybe just our house. But the way things have been going in that house recently, um, if you've watched my recent vlogs, we've got a, a massive leak in our roof now and we've had rain pouring in through the ceiling. However, we've not got, it's not near any of the electrical circuits or wiring or anything like that. So as far as I'm aware, it shouldn't affect our electricity. But I'm starting to wonder now, I wish we had actually went to my neighbours, where we are there's only four bungalows. Um, and I wish we'd went to one of them just to find out if he had any electricity. But I don't know. It was getting curiouser and curiouser. So I've got Brooke at the park just now anyway. She can play while things are charging. The Celtic game's just about to start on the radio. So that'll be me quite happy. And I'll text Jack to find out if he's heard anything. I'll try and get online as well to see if there's any information from Mr. Google. Um, however, I'm also uploading another video while I'm out and about. So I don't know how much luck I'll have getting onto the net. But that's where I'm at just now. And I will come back to you later on. This is a very fun day. <laughs> I'm quite sure it's not as much fun for you watching but I thought I would film it anyway just a, a piece of history and I've just realised what you can see in the background there sorry about that <laughs> Clyde, you're not meant to be showing off your man bits right, okay I'm going to go just now and I'll come back to you later hello, just me with a quick update right, now Brooke got bored at the park within five minutes because there was nobody to play with and there was a lot of wasps sorry the light's not great where I'm parked so, and she was hungry, so we came along to the local co-op and I thought we'll make it into a wee adventure. I let Brooke go in and pick stuff for a wee picnic for herself. And while she was in, I tried to get in touch with some of the power networks and I eventually found the right one for us. And it turns out that no other fault's been reported in the area. So he asked if I'd checked the trip switch and of course I hadn't. The reason that I hadn't was because it was the whole house that's out. Usually if it's a trip switch, you're getting electricity in some part of your house and not others. But he said that if it's been a power surge, then it could have tripped the main switch. So I'm going to go back to the house now and I'm going to check to see if it is the trip switch. I'm hoping that it is, but at the same time, if it is, I'm going to feel like an absolute tube. In fact, do you know what, Brooke? See, since we're out in... No. I was going to say, since we're out anyway, we might just go to the park, but... I'm very conscious of the fact that everything in my freezer is going to be defrosting the longer we leave it. So I'm going to go back to the house and I'll let you know. I hope I've not just been such an idiot. <laughs> oh, typical fail. Right, I'll speak to you soon. Hello again. Oh, there's big Ranach. Hello Ranach and Willa. Um, right, I've just been in the house. And yes, rookie mistake, the trip switch had went. But the when I said to the guy, look, everywhere in the house is affected because normally if it's a trip switch you go and you flick the switch and it's fine um, and it's just the one area of the house and he said but if it's somewhere in the house that's caused a power surge the RCD will go off so I knew to look for the RCD I mean I'm no electrician I don't know what I'm doing so the RCD was off all the other switches were still on so I tried to switch the RCD on and it just kept going off again and I'm thinking right what do I do here we have got no hello Clyde we have got no money for an early an electrician. My uncle's an electrician but he lives two hours away. So I went on good old YouTube. Don't we love YouTube? And it showed me what to do. Basically it said to put all the trip switches off, 
put the RCD on, which I did, and it stayed on, and then put the trip switches on one at a time, and then whatever one trips the RCD and switches it off again is the one that's causing the problems. So I did that, and it took me a wee while, but I figured it out it was like doing a puzzle. Um, and it seems to be coming from our shower, which is not great. Our shower is basically the one shower in the house, even though it's in our own suite, there's not a shower in the bathroom, it's just a bath, which we don't use. Hello, Brooke. Um, but how the shower would suddenly have tripped the whole circuit in the middle of the night when nobody was near it. I've got no idea. And we don't leave it switched on. It's one of the things that you, it's an electric shower, so you have to pull the cord to switch on to then actually put it on at the, the shower. So that was off as well. So why that's um, triggered it, I don't know. But look at the state of me. We need to figure it out because I need to get a shower. But I promised Brooke that she would get to the park, so I'm back in the car now. I'm going to head to the park with Brooke and I'm going to try and phone Jack at his work, see if I can get hold of him and just let him know what the situation is. But I just thought I would let you know, this whole adventure has been our own fault, really, for not checking the trip switches. I think just because we knew that there was chaos yesterday on the roads and the trains because of the electricity being off with the torrential rain, we just assumed that that's what it was and didn't even think to check. Duh. Won't do that again. Right, so I'm going to go to the park just now and I'll catch up with you later on. And at last we are at the park. Can't really see it there. Um, it's not the biggest and best park in the area, but I can see her from here, so I'm quite happy. Um, and she's quite happy just to get a wee shot. It's obviously been raining, but hopefully the equipment won't be too wet. Oh, it's just been one of these days. It's now quarter to two. Um, yeah, it's been one of these days. Hold on, I'll turn you around. Yeah, it's been one of those days. Hopefully, um, nothing else is going to go wrong. It's just been a bitty day. It's like everything that I had planned to do went completely out the window because of a power cut that wasn't even a power cut. <laughs> God, I can't get hold of Jack. I've been trying to, I've been messaging him all day and I can't get hold of him. And so he's either really, really busy at work or his phone ran out of charge because it wasn't charging through the night because the electricity cut off. I don't know which it is, but I've messaged his work phone now, so hopefully he'll get that and give me a phone because I don't know if there is a problem with the shower or what, if he's going to have to get somebody to come out and look at it, or if he's going to look... I just don't know. I just don't know. This must be a pretty crappy, rambly vlog for you. Um, I said to Brooke, oh, I don't think I'm going to bother putting this as a vlog. She went, Mum, it's part of our everyday life. You need to document it. And I thought, you know what? You're right. So what I'm going to do now is, it's like I said, it's 10 to 2 now. I'm now going to have my smoked salmon trimmings. There's half a packet there. And these are less than 0 0.5 grams of carbs for 100 grams. And there's only about 60 grams in there. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to have that. And I'm going to have oh, a nice cherry Pepsi Max. I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner tonight now because I was planning to make a slow cooker mince but obviously I've not been able to put the slow cooker on so I might just end up having an omelette I might just um, make Jack something out the freezer or something and just have an omelette myself I don't know we shall wait and see so the dogs are rather hot it has got warm again it's about 20 degrees but I've parked under a tree so I'm as shaded as I can be and I'm not going to let Brooke play too long um, uh, so the dogs won't be in the car too much longer, hopefully. Right, so I'm going to go out and enjoy my smoked salmon trimmings and I'll come back to you later. That's the rain coming on with a vengeance. All the kids are running from the park <coughs> except Brooke. <laughs> Just her. <laughs> I am going to toot the horn and get her to come. She's had a good half hour. It's quarter past two. So I think I'll get her to come. <coughs> That's Clyde barking at all the people passing the car. Right, I'm going to get her to come in now so she doesn't get drenched and we will head home. I'll catch up with you later on. The pups are all excited to see Brooke back in the car. Well, did you have fun? Yep. Yes? I met a wee girl. Did you? She and, was nine. Excellent. And you weren't going to come in even though it was raining, were you? No. <laughs> Trust you. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm getting kisses from Clyde. Clyde, I was never out the car. <laughs> uh, right, so we'll head home now. Yeah, there's yeah. internet now. There is internet now. Thank goodness I'm going to go straight and watch series of unfortunate events. Okay, you're getting right into series of unfortunate events. Is it on Netflix? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay, let's go back there then and I'll get your tablet charging now as well, okay? Yep. Cool.
Right, tell everybody, see you later. See you later. Bye. Say bye, Molly. <laughs> well, it is five past three and we are home, thankfully. We have power, yay. <laughs> Apart from my shower, everywhere else seems to have power. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get that sorted. But do you know what? My head can't deal with it today, so we'll need to wait until tomorrow. <sighs> it started tipping it down big time when we left the park, so it's a good job Brooke left when she did, or she would have got drenched. Right, well, I have to say, for the first time since starting the keto diet in April, I am struggling big time. It's been one of those days, there's a whole load of goodies behind me, and I just want to eat all the cake. And it honestly is the first time that I've felt like this since doing keto. When I have had to come off it, going on holiday and things like that, I've not really enjoyed it. I've not specifically wanted to. It was just because it was easier. But today I'm really, really struggling. I'm determined not to give in. What I've done, if you can see there, I am preparing another coffee for tonight. I am trying to cut down on the iced coffees. I've said that before. However... If I know that I've got a nice creamy iced coffee to look forward to later, I'm more likely to stay away from the sugar. And I would rather have a keto naughty, if you like. It's not even a naughty, it's just for my own... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm curious. My own curiosity um, that I'm wanting to cut back on the cream because there's nothing to say that I can't have it on keto I'm just wondering if it's not agreeing with my body and that's why I'm not losing as much weight so I've decided I'm gonna have a, a nice coffee to look forward to later on and that will hopefully keep me away from all the crap that's sitting over there that Jack very kindly brought into the house it's not his fault <laughs> him and the kids aren't keto but it's just difficult when it sits there and shouts at you so I'm going to go and I'm not hungry now after having that salmon, that was fine, that'll be me until dinner time. I've, I managed to get hold of Jack, I've told him to pick himself something up for dinner on the way home and that I'm just going to have an omelette later. So I will show you that when I make it. However, um, just now I'm going to go and chill out with power. <laughs> it's amazing how much you take electricity for granted until you've not got it. And I will catch up with you all later. See you soon. Hello again, it's now five to five and I have my omelette. I was going to wait for Jack to come in but then he said that he might stop for takeaway or if he has to go out for a fuse for the shower later he might go to Nando's and I thought I would be tempted. So I decided to make my dinner now so that I would be full and I wouldn't be tempted by anything that he might bring in any of the tasties. Brooke has got a pizza, lucky thing. I've got just a plain egg omelette uh, with cheese. Basically it's the base is two eggs and some of the Boursin soft cheese with garlic and herb. And then once it was almost ready, I just added some grated cheese to the top, waited for it to melt, folded it over and voila! We, thank you, we have a omelette. And Brooke's got her pizza, lucky Brooke. She's already added smoked paprika and now she's adding pepper. She loves spicy things, this girl. And I've also added salt. Yes, and salt. And I, of course, I'm having my Raspberry Pepsi Max with my own. about 10 bottles a day. I do not go through 10 bottles a day. Maybe I used to. I'm not as bad now. So, yep, yeah, the dogs have been fed. Brooke's been fed. And I'm about to be fed. And I'll come back to you later on when I'm having something else. I'm about see you later. To be fed. Well, as you can see, there's been another twist and turn to this day. I am out and about. It's now 10 to 7. Um... Jack came in from work and decided we were going to go and try to source a new fuse for the the shower for the fuse box thing. I don't understand all these technical things. I'm not an electrician. Um, so, yes, we are out and about. I have not had my last iced coffee. And since it's 10 to 7, I won't be home in time to have it. So I have basically got a Pepsi Max, cherry Pepsi Max, which I will stop drinking at 7 o'clock. Brooke. And Jack got a Costa. I've been good. I'm really proud of myself, I have to say. Considering the stressful day that it's been, it's been a really crappy day. I have stuck to plan. I've not strayed. I haven't emotionally ate, which I really wanted to do. And I'm quite happy at the fact that 
I'm still on track and that'll be me now. I won't have anything to eat until 11 o'clock tomorrow. Oh, you can see the dogs in the background. Jack and Brooke are just giving the dogs a wee stretch of their legs before we head to B&Q. So yes, that's been my day. It has been very stressful and very strange, but I got through it. Right, I'm going to go. I'm going to head off and end this vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry if it's been a bit weird, a bit ranty, just a bit unusual. But hey, that's a day in my life. <laughs> right, okay, I will see you all later in the next one. Bye!